Welcome to Adventures in Geocaching with your host, You Got a Friend in PA. Hello everyone and welcome to a brand new episode. Today we're going to be down in the Salkin Valley area of Pennsylvania. And we are going to be going for, I believe we're going to be doing three caching dashes today. So, we're in the location of cache number one off the side of the road at a little um, municipal building here. We got the container. We got the lid off. Let's see what's inside here. You got your log that needs to be signed. And it looks like we have some holiday erasers. And there's nothing else in here. So now let's get this log signed. Had to block the sun out, but we got our name. Got our name on the log. Fairly new cache. That's in the area. That's why there's not a lot of names. We signed it. Now we gotta put it all back. There we go. It's a micro. It's a one and a half. One and a half. Now, are you ready for it? Because it's GeoSense challenge time. Here come your four pictures of where ground zero is. See if you can pick the right location. And then we'll be back to show you exactly where it is. Did you pick picture number one on the guardrail by the black block? Now granted, I showed you four very good spots. The end of the guardrail for cash and dash is a really no is another good spot. Also, the two by four by the building was a good spot too. And the end of the pole that's laying down by the the uh, tree line that was another good spot that it could have been and time to show you exactly where it was all right here we go we're going to put this back it's off by a country road there's some farmland You have some farmland to look at. It's a nice sunny day today. I'm not used to filming in the sun. There's the Manissa building that I was talking about. Actually, it looks like it's a uh, Verizon building. But that's just, a, that's just a little look of the area. Let's put this away. So right by the side of the road here, just so I can show you, the guardrail turns in at the pull-off. It was at this one right here. So we just come in. Put her back. K 
cache number one is done. Now we're going to head over to cache number two, still in Salkin Valley. It's on a rails to trail. I'm going to see if I can find a closer parking spot on the side of the road that's near where the location is. If not, I'm going to have to park in the uh, rails to trail parking lot and see how far the walk's actually going to wind up being. But we're going to do it and we're going to go get it. Cash number two found a closer spot to park than at the trailhead. We are now going to go in on this rails to trail that you see behind me. Made our way in. Made the find. This guy was just hanging out at the ground zero. So, it's that time. This is another one and a half, one and a half. It's that GeoSense challenge time, which means here come your four pictures. Could you pick where this wonderfully done cache was hanging? And I'll be back to show you what's inside and where it was. Okay, did you pick picture number two hanging in the pine tree? You'd be right. He was hanging in the pine tree. That was the best spot for him. But he was still pretty visible. So I'm hoping this guy lasts a while. Now, for the container, I don't know if you can tell, but you have to pick his nose. That's how you get it. It's a little, it's a nano in his nose. Let me show you. Let's put him down here so I can hold the camera and get him out. Take out the little boogie. And here you go. You got one of those little nano containers. It does have a magnet on it and that's how it stays in. All right, I'm going to get this open. We're going to sign it and we're going to put it back. And that's when you're going to see where it was. All right, coming this way. Coming up over here. Trying to do this with the sun. It's not easy. But you rehook them. Sun's not playable. But right here he is. You hook him in a pine tree and he just hangs there. Like I said, kind of stands out if you're if you're looking. But there you go. Cache number two is signed, sealed, and delivered and put back in its location. Now we're gonna make our way over to cache number three. Let's go. All right, cache number three. This is an area that I've been to three or four times with DNFs. Today I came back, gave it a quick look and made the find. It's gonna be on this nice building behind me. It's on the entrance way to a development in Stockton Valley. The container is a micro. It's a four difficulty, one and a half terrain. Now you know why it was so hard. Four difficulty is a pretty hard one to find. But I found it. Now it's time to do the geocache challenge. Four pictures are coming. 
of Ground Zero, tell me where you think it was on this hard to find cache. And then we'll show you the container, we'll show you the log, and we'll show you where it was and we'll put it back. And then we'll end this episode. Let's go, picture time. Just wanna get a video of the building here so you can see the whole entire thing. There are stairs here that usually go down and around some dirt. But with all the rain we had lately, the area is kind of uh, a little flooded right now. Picture number four. Is that the one that you picked? Looks little guy. Right here. Was in the crack of the wall. And it took me a while to get this out. I had a hard time removing it from its spot. But I got it. Now I'm gonna show you the sign log quick. Now we'll show you where it was. Here's the log. That's all that was inside was this log rolled up. Got it signed. Now we're gonna put it back. This container is ready to go, log is back in. And this is how it was. The container is in, you put the rock in front. And that's what makes that a fourth difficulty because it's really hard to find. But I was able to turn my frowns upside down into a smiley. Luckily, I never have to worry about coming back here again. Well, thanks for watching this episode. I hope you liked it, and I'll see you on the next one. If you liked the episode, hit the subscribe button. Hit the bell to turn on notifications. Happy trails, happy caching, and go get that smiley. Bye.